Hi, everyone. Welcome to this presentation. It is called Measuring Arabic Wikipedia Community Health with the subtitle question, are we open to community growth and renewal? My name is Mar Miguel, and I'm a Wikimedia researcher, as you may know me. I joined the movement in 2011. I'm a PhD, and PhDs usually have to say, I'm not this kind of doctor because they do not deal with health. However, in this case, I'm studying health, Wikipedia community health. So I'm going to talk about uh, this topic uh, that we are having working on in the project uh, Community Health Metrics, uh, which is a project, a research project that I work with uh, uh, David Laniado and Kristen Consoni. And we want to measure, understand, raise awareness and make recommendations to improve community health. Uh, we envision a community that is much more aware of, uh, of the health and accompanies the newcomers and, and take care of uh, the experience, uh, Wikipedians. Uh, you can look at the page. Uh, it's under construction though, but, but please take a look. So uh, in this presentation, we want to talk about community growth and renewal as part of community health. Because it's true that Wikipedia is a, is a successful project that has reached uh, the second decade. Uh, and uh, and it's, uh, um, some say that it's uh, the, the largest uh, repository in history. But there, it has a problem that uh, scientific studies found that uh, for, uh, for 10 years now, it has been unable to continue growing the, the, the editor communities. Um, ever since uh, 2016, community health is a recurring topic uh, among uh, Wikipedians. But is this decline of Wikipedia communities true and generalizable to all languages? Well, it is true. Here we can see that the, this is the curve of active editors for English Wikipedia. And we see that this is stall, this, uh, and, and this decline and stall with a slight growing back in the, in the, in the last year. Uh, and um, in this case, we see that uh, it's true for, for uh, English Wikipedia, but we, we should ask what happens with Arabic Wikipedia, which is the one we care about. Um, in this presentation, I'll focus on, on the Arabic Wikipedias, the main Arabic and the two dialects, Egyptian and Moroccan. And for comparison, I've chosen uh, the French, the German, the Italian, and the Dutch. We will zoom into the active editor community, those editors editing at least five edits per month, every month. Uh, using um, a quantitative analysis approach. I apologize in advance that there are uh, so many graphs, um, so I invite you to download the slides and take a look at, the, at it uh, later with more calm. So to answer our question, is, is uh, Wikipedia declining in terms of number of uh, editors? We see that the answer can be very varied. Um, the, the curve uh, is true for European languages like, like German or French here in the stall uh, with a slight grow as well, but it's quite the opposite for Arabic Wikipedia here in dark blue. We see that it's a slow but steady growth with some peaks last year. So um, in any case, even though uh, the, the Arabic is going, we want to stay open. So we want to answer the question, are we open to, to co this community growth and renewal for it to continue? And to answer this question, I propose uh, I propose an approach which is called vital signs. Vital signs in medicine, they are uh, they tell you about the status of a, of a body uh, functions, so that the, the body continues living. These measures are taken to to understand the physical health and to give clues of possible diseases and prevent and prevent future problems. For uh, for a community, defining and measuring vital signs can be very very useful. Uh, for affiliates to plan and to detect situations of risk, and and so to avoid uh, factors like the bus factor, in which uh, if, what would happen if a, if a, the main responsible for a project is run over by a bus? This would be tragic because the project will be gone. So these vital signs, which are six: retention, continuity, balance, specialist, admins, and global, will help us to understand the current state of Arabic Wikipedia and whether it's uh, it's in a good place to grow and renew uh, its editors. So the first one is called retention. You may know about retention. The first vital sign retention uh, is computed as a rate. That is the percentage of uh, new editors who survive after uh, the first 60 days uh, after the first edit. Here uh, we see that the number of registered editors over time, over the, the past 10 years, we see that is is quite a stable, which means that, that Wikipedia continues to attract uh, the attention of, of uh, of uh, society uh, members and 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 so it's good. Some some Wikipedia's more than others, but but it's quite a stable and even growing a bit. So we we know that the, there is a good pace. What is not so good is is that the retention rate is decreasing. It's going going down. It's going down for all languages. For Arabic, it's between one point three to two point uh, percent, and this percentage uh, um, maybe a, a bit higher if if we take only. 
some of the editors who edit after registering because there are so many editors that register and, and do not and do not edit but it's it's not good so we have here a vital sign that we we should improve on the second vital sign is called continuity community continuity is the persistence of active editors as well as the succession of groups of editors over time so we want active editors who edit every month and uh and we want new editors coming in that uh, that they substitute them and uh and and this should have this should be uh balanced uh, ideally um in this graph we see for the past year september 2020 to till august 21 uh, uh, for these five languages we see the the active editors and how many edits uh, how many months they have been editing in a row we, we see that in in the gray means the first month uh green uh, two three four uh, we see that 70 percent of uh, the active editors the fresh uh, of, uh, of uh, arriving to be are fresh they are they haven't edited the month before uh, this instead is, is 30 40 percent in french uh, in in german and in dutch wikipedia which which is much lower this implies that Arabic Wikipedia is much more volatile. Uh, it is engaging fresh editors every month, but they do not continue editing the following months. Ideally, as I said, you would want uh, editors who stay longer. So this is something that it's partially good because of its capacity to attract, but at the same time, not to fidelize. So this vital sign has also some margin for improvement. The third one is called balance. Uh, community balance is being able to maintain an equitable proportion of all and new editors. We want to benefit from experience, but we also want to stay open to new generations. So it's a key sign to indicate in renewal. Uh, similarly to the previous graph, but in this case, yearly for these five languages, we see the composition of very active editors. Very active editors are, are those who edit at least 100 edits per month. Um, and in this case, we, we see that uh, depending on the language, uh, there are more or less very active editors, but um, the, the different colors tell us about uh, when they started editing. Uh, there are uh, four different, five different actually generations, 2001, 6, 2006, uh, uh, 10, 11, 15, 16, 20, and 21, 25. And, and this, these generations uh, show us in, in different colors that, that for the Arabic one, the generation 16 to 20 is very, very present compared to other more established Wikipedias like French and, and, and German, in which the previous generations still make, uh, still play a very, very important role and they have a higher percentage. Uh, very active editors, as I said, they are um, very important because they account for 80% of the edits per month, human edits. So it would be recommendable that that we try to maintain the, pre the previous generations and, and not just substitute them uh, so this would be something to take into account, and, and the solution that, that can be proposed is to is to recognize uh, uh, the previous editors. Uh, the, the fourth vital sign is called a special functions. So a special functions like the community technical and coordination functions uh, undertaken by editors are essential for the project. And here I, I refer to uh, edits in technical namespaces like templates or or media wiki. That the, that they are essential to maintain the um, the, the content. Um, here we take a look at the very active editors, but only in techniques technical name spaces, and we see that that the generation from 2011 to 2015 for Arabic Wikipedia is more present, and it's more present comp even compared also compared to to the previous to the general active very active editors, which means that it relies on on the previous generation. Um, this is also is also happening with uh, with other Wikipedias in which we see that the generations, the previous generations like 2006 to 10, is very important for the French and for the German. But it's like the the, the Arabic Wikipedia is one generation after uh, um, the the other ones. So we, we should pay attention to to the number of very active editors in technical many spaces, which are not many. They are they are around 40 and, and 40. May, may already account for the bus effect if someone is taking care of a very specific bot or something uh, and is gone how how do we uh, get uh, how do we continue after after that and um the following graph is is the same one but focus on on what we would call coordination activities which are the edits in wiki projects village pam um the cafe or or the different community spaces and here we see that the this renewal is happening as the majority of, of uh, very active editors in these spaces are, are from 15 to 20, 20 uh, and, uh, and so they, they are from, from the last generation. 
and um, and in this case it's very different from the from the French and the German uh, in which the, the previous generations they they still play a very very important role. Um, the, the fifth vital sign is called admins. Admins have rights and responsibilities in performing actions over content, and they take care of, uh, of protecting the content and, and surveilling uh, the activities. So they are very, very key. Um, in this graph, we, we see uh, when the different admin flags were granted in the past uh, uh, years. We see that, that the period of uh, 2007 till 15, 11 was very, very important to to grant the, the admin flags and, it, and in many wikipedias it, this is the case which means that there are no new flags um so the, the flags were granted in this period of time and the color um which is the same legend as before indicates that they are editors from previous generations so we we do not have flags uh and for the generation of 2016 to 20. and in fact uh, we should consider expanding the list of editor uh, of admins including uh admins from this newer generations. Uh, here we see the, the whole proportion. And here we see the, uh, the number of uh, admins and the percentage of active admins in relation to active editors, which is very important. It's, it's like the weight that, that an admin carries. And uh, it's 0 0.857 uh, in Arabic Wikipedia. And it's much larger for, uh, for German, which is, uh, let me see, well, 152. So um, in this case, we we should uh, we should try to uh, we should try to, to reduce this load, and there is margin for for uh, uh, enrolling new admins or accepting new admins. And and the sixth and last vital sign is called global. Um, is the participation in, in the global community is very important to make the the voice of a community heard abroad, and at the same time to learn from the the the, the general discussions, the movement discussions. And, uh, and so we consider it the last vital function, and we analyze the participation of the, of the different languages in meta. We see here the active editors uh, in meta by, by month in the previous year, and, uh, and uh, the distribution is, is by their primary language. So um, the language in which they have most of the edits, in, in which they, they edit more. Uh, an editor may regularly edit in German Wikipedia and then have uh, some spontaneous edits in, in English, but um, this doesn't mean that their uh, that their languages are both. But the primary language is just one. It's it's uh, just German. So here we see that the percentage of uh, of um, uh, activators belonging to Arabic Wikipedia is two point five percent, which is very little, especially compared to to English, which is uh, uh, around thirty percent. So there there is a chance here for to get more involved in meta. Uh, and there are around 40, 40 editors uh, uh, per month coming from our Wikipedia editing in Meta from the 2000 that we have seen that they are active every month you know, on average. And um, I would like to highlight the situation of the, the other two dialects that we see that uh, uh, around 30% of Egyptian Arabic Wikipedia primary language is, is Arabic Wikipedia. And the situation is similar in Moroccan Arabic, but with a lower percentage. It's, it's this low in, in the two cases. This means that that a considerable uh, part of the editors of these two languages comes from Arrive Wikipedia, and, they, and it's their second project, which which makes complete sense. So, conclusions in summary: Arabic Wikipedia is younger is a younger community than others. Yeah. And even though the retention is not so good, we see that the community is composed by mainly by editors of this last generation, 2016 to 2020. Uh, there is continuity between editors on a monthly basis, but we've seen that they are that uh, there is a large proportion of, of fresh editors uh, every month. Uh, and the long-term engaged editors who have been editing for more than a year is very, very little. This is a, a bit risky. The, the core positions of the community, the technical, the admins flags, are usually from previous generations. So we should make a thought on, on, on uh, opening, uh, not, not opening positions, but inviting uh, new, uh, inviting uh, editors, uh, consolidated editors to, to take these roles and, and to fill them. Uh, what can you do as Arabic communities? So uh, each of these areas, each of these vital signs can be improved on. Uh, the retention, the, the best key to improve on retention is mentorship strategies, and then uh, embracing the changes proposed by the foundation team growth, that they, they are especially aim at the user interface, which is very key for newcomers. Uh, in terms of balance, to guarantee proportion of older generations, uh, recognition is probably the best solution, the best approach. 
flag renewal is something that can be planned and can be encouraged from the affiliate positions. And uh, in the same way, participating in meta is, is also can be also uh, encouraged uh, um, from organized part of, uh, of the Arabic community. And uh, what can we do as researchers? Uh, the, the authors of this presentation and this project, uh, we will eventually create dashboards with this information so we can be consulted on a monthly basis. Uh, your feedback on this dashboard, on this analysis uh, is very, very valuable. Please uh, reach out to us. We will provide as well the code, the data, and uh, the research behind it. And um, we are working on, on other aspects of community health, the, especially in the drop-off. Drop uh, we want to understand the causes. We are examining revert discussion patterns, and, um, emotions, and among many other factors. Uh, if you have any question, we'll be very happy to answer it. So please reach out to me or leave a, a message in the, in the project page. Thank you very much.